Hello, this is Adam Sassatelli from SIUE. Thank you for tuning in to AS Designs Tutorials. Today we're going to be going over how to create a wrapper based on AP div tags in Dreamweaver. I will be using Dreamweaver CS4 for this tutorial. Now I remember when I was first starting out in web design and I absolutely hated coding exact locations for objects in a web page through CSS which I mean when I use regular div tags. So I was constantly searching for a new way to arrange web pages. I did notice on the other hand that when you use AP div tags that you can move them around the page. The only thing is that AP which stands for absolute position div tags usually have a limiting factor and that their position never changes, it's absolute. So when you, if you change the size of a window in Firefox or Safari the items in an AP div tag will not recenter on the screen. So after searching and searching and looking and trying new things, I have finally found a way to create a wrapper AP div tag, which will encase all of your other div tags on your web page. Then you will center the main wrapper and everything within the wrapper will be centered. This also has an advantage over a normal div tag that is coded with CSS and that AP div tags can be arranged in layers, just as in the program Photoshop. You can also drag and move these AP div tags around instead of having to give exact numbered locations through CSS like you would a normal div tag. Now this process is extremely easy once you understand what to do. You can make a wrapper that centers left to right or up and down or both. So let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to create an HTML um, file in Dreamweaver. And I'm going to rename this file just for this purpose of AP div. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is create an AP div tag on my page. So if I go to insert, layout objects, and AP div, that's going to create my main wrapper. Now if I go to window and open my AP, make sure my AP elements tab is open, that's going to bring it up over here. I'm going to double click on the first AP div tag, which is labeled AP div 1, and I'm going to name, rename that to be wrapper. Now. If you look at the Z property, what that is is what level the layer is on. So first layer, and if I put another one on, it'll be on the second layer. So something that's how you put one thing on top of another thing and, and um, control that. So let me click back on to the AP div tag over here. Um, I'm going to click it so that it has the dots to make it larger. Um, then down in my properties bar, or if you go to Windows, Window and Properties, it'll bring that up. I'm going to change the width to be whatever you want the width of your website to be. I'm going to change it to 940 pixels since that's pretty standard. Um, usually web pages are 940 to 960 pixels wide. Um, and I'm going to change the height, which actually doesn't matter. You can change this to whatever you want. I'm just going to change it to 500 pixels for the purposes of my tutorial. All right. So we have our AP div tag on the screen. Now we, what we need to do is we need to make this AP div tag, which is our wrapper, all the other div tags that we're going to make are going to go inside this wrapper. So we need to center this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create an, a CSS suggestion saying that I want to make this, the left margin, negative half of what the width of my AP div tag is. What that's going to say is it's going to move it over half. So if I go over to my CSS styles, or if I don't have that there, I can go to Window and CSS Styles right here. And if I click that, it's going to bring up my information, my CSS for that exact AP div tag. Make sure your AP div tag is selected at this point. Um, then down, if I scroll down to the bottom and see right here, Add Property, I'm going to add a property. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it left-margin, and this has to be exactly as I'm writing it. Or, sorry, <laughs> it has to be margin left, got it a little mixed up, dash left. And I'm going to have this be negative half of what my width of my div tag is. So negative half would be negative 470 pixels. Make sure it's on pixels also. So that's going to move it over, and you're going to see it's going to move it off the page halfway. Okay, now to contradict that, to get it back on the page, we need to change the actual position of the AP div tag. And we're going to change the L property. If you see right down here on the properties bar, we're going to change that to 50%. Now, what you should see is you should see a half of your AP div tag to be grayed out from left to right. Um, this means that everything is correct, and now this AP div tag is centered. So let's just put a picture in there or something that we would put on a website just to make sure that it's actually centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a background through CSS on this 
through in this div tag. So if I say new CSS rule while it's selected, I go press this little plus sign right here, new CSS rule, and make sure it says wrapper because that's what we named the AP div tag, and press OK. And then if you go over to background, and I'm going to choose an image. So what my image is going to be, it's going to be a shadow. So each side of my AP div tag is going to have shadows on it. Um, so I'm going to choose that and save it in my web page. And then I want it to repeat going downward, so repeat on the y-axis, and apply. OK, so if you look at this, it just put little shadows down on each side. Um, a lot of people like this in their web pages, and so this is what I'm going to just show you right now. Um, I created this picture with Photoshop. Um, so now if I preview this in Safari, if you look, when I, re when I changed the size of my web page, those two bars or the my web page is going to stay centered. If I didn't have that done, it would just stay over on the left and go off the page when I resize the actual bar or it would just say left justified on the page. Um, so now let me add a I'm going to add an AP div tag inside of this to put all my buttons in. So I'm going to click on the AP div tag, my main wrapper, and then I want to click again because I want it to be like it's inside. So as if I was going to type something in here like this, I need that cursor to be there because that's where we're going to place the next AP div tag. Now, you cannot go down here to insert AP div tag and draw an AP div because it won't put it inside the wrapper. You have to go make sure the cursor is there inside that div tag and go to insert, layout objects, and AP div tag. And now if you look over here to our AP elements tab, the wrapper, that AP div that we just made is inside the wrapper. So if we close the wrapper, there's nothing there. If we open it, you can see that the AP div tag is inside there. So I'm going to say this is my home button. I'm just going to call it button one. And then I'm going to place something inside that button. So if I click and make sure that the cursor is there again, and I go to insert image, I'm just going to put a home button up there. And I'm going to insert that image. And then I'm going to resize it because it's kind of big. And I'm not really sure how big you want this to be, but there we go. So now I can drag this around anywhere I want inside of my AP div tag. And I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to add another one. So I go back to my main wrapper. You can just click on it here. And I make sure the cursor is in that wrapper. And I go to Insert, Layout Objects, AP div. And I'm going to put another image or button or whatever you want to put in there. I'm going to put an about button. And I'm going to resize that one down too. And I'm not going to be exact right now just for the sake of the tutorial. But I just want to resize it and put it right next to this guy. Okay, and then I'm going to make one more. So make sure you have your cursor inside the reg normal AP div. Actually, let's rename that one to button 2. And make sure your cursor's inside. Go to Insert, Layout Objects, AP Div. And we're going to insert an image. And I want it to be in a contact button. Yes, save. Make this smaller. I'm going to resize my div tag too for that. And then if you grab the top left hand corner, so I didn't show this earlier here. If you grab the top left hand corner, you can drag it around anywhere inside that AP Div tag. So now if I go to preview this in Safari, you can see whenever I change the size of my window, those everything stays centered in my window. All right, so thank you for watching AS Designs. I hope this helps make everything. Um, you can put AP div tags inside of AP div tags instead of AP div tags and have as many layers as you want. And if you change the Z property, it'll change what goes on top of what. So if I put this over on top of this one, the contact, which is my button three, which I forgot to name, is on top because it's on the third level on top of button two, which is the second level. So that's how you keep everything arranged in, um, with if you have things layered on top of each other. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to email me um, through the email that you'll see below. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching AS Designs Tutorials. This is Adam speaking. Thank you.